Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. So last episode was pretty, uh, somewhat intense. We saw Adrian Ripberger kill, uh, Corley, the old man Corley, and he's trying to basically take over his company. We found out Maureen, who fixed up our bike, is, uh, let's get on our bike here, is actually Morley's daughter and heir to the company, so... Adrian tried to uh, take her out as well. So we need to find her, but maybe save her? But I think we're gonna head back towards the old kickstand bar now. Maybe we can get some clues to, I don't know, kind of figure out where we need to go from there. Back to the old kickstand. Looks like there might be like a trucker here. Head on inside. Hey, killer. What? What? Hey, it's cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> what secret? Haven't you been watching the news? I like the uh on the like small screen the like picture of Ren from Ren and Stimpy. Dead? Just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently. Man, news travels fast, especially for like these small towns way out in the middle of nowhere. Savagely and without mercy, police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polgats. No. Oh no. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Uh oh. Blocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. Well, that's not good. Not good at all. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> Here's the uh, old school version of it. Making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Okay, let's talk to this guy for a second. See what he has to say. Emmett. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Uh, let's see. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie. Not gonna happen. Lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around. I like the bartenders just perpetually, like drying a glass. <laughs> okay. Good talking to you. Friendly folks, you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole. Yeah, I would say not. Okay, so what else do we know about this place? Well, we know there's a dumpster out back, because we got tossed in it at the very beginning of the game. Psst. Who's that? Who's in there? Ben! Oh, it's no the photographer. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. <laughs> you gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? <laughs> you yeah, got pictures? But thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but hmm. I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. So, we need to help her get her camera back, and we need to my career, either help my or f picture. at least find Maureen. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I owe you one. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Got okay, achievement. A new hope. I mean, this game was made by LucasArts. Okay, so I bet if we take our fancy ID here, this guy will help us out. Here. What's that? Fake federal what does it look like? It's ID. an ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Uh, well, don't stab it. We're gonna need it. Jeez. I remember you 
seems to be some sort truckers of are so crass sometimes from up the road down highway nine on the other side of them damn roadblocks i used to pick up meat meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs <laughs> that was a good scam so how about a ride okay now we're talking the back and find my bike it's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now <laughs> you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. But yeah, my bike is submerged in that. Hey, great. I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And it looks like we're off. I like those futuristic looking trucks. Oh great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Oh, we're stopped. Oh, it sounds like Sorry, the police. Sir, like police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds, Chuck. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. Wow, it actually worked. <laughs> and the cop wasn't even like, why do you have a big cut from a knife all the way through your ID? <laughs> I like all the expressions he makes. It's like sometimes you don't even need dialogue. Alright, so I guess we'll figure out why we're stopped. Problem with your truck? <laughs> Loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Hmm. Had a hose problem. That's not good. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That son of, die son of a did. bitch. He's gonna die just as soon as I get a new fuel line for my bike and I, I catch up to him and all that stuff. Some pictures. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Huh, interesting. That's a pillow. Let's just take it and go to sleep. <laughs> Ooh. Tire iron. Check out this lock. Did I? I thought I clicked on it. I couldn't break that lock. Well, you can now with their fancy new tire iron. Like, I get his gang is the pole cats, but why does he have the? Name of the game on his jacket. Are they called the Full Throttle Polecats? I don't think they are. It's Mo. Oh, we're gonna have to go after her. Just as soon as we fix the fuel line and we we catch up to you, and then and then we catch up to the the truck driver too. Really time. Excellent. Oh yeah. Oh, it's that trucker. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. Hey, wait. I just got something I need to ask you. Oh. oh she left us in the dust. She took my booster fuel. 
Absolutely. Oh, you. You will get your comeuppance. He's dead. That sign. Uh oh. That means I'm in cave fish territory. Cave fish. Lone bike, no threat. Those are some weird motorcycles. Freight truck. Target. Has he got a radar gun? It's gonna clock the speed of the trucker. Uh oh. Well that could be bad news. For the trucker. Oh no! Well, I don't, I don't think that trucker is alive anymore. <laughs> this cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Why do they sound like Starscream? These doofuses. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. You really are a couple of idiots. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Hmm. Well, let's get some fertilizer. Anytime. Just walk slowly. Maybe I'll just take a little. Like, you had to walk all the way over here and get it, not like right here where it's right next to your bike. Alright, well, let's use our tire iron and we're gonna use it on this here trailer. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. And kick it. Basically, we want to set a trap for our two doofus thugs. Of course, Ben walks slower in molasses. Anytime now, Ben. There we go. Oh, that crusher bike? What a mess. It sure is. Now let's get on our bike. Dun 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 Alright. And here we go. Oh yeah. Come on boys. See what you got. Look at him run. Alright, here we go. Uh oh. Oh no! Sucks for you! Oh, Rip Burger's not gonna be happy. He's like, where are those two doofuses? Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick, I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley remnant out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. Hmm. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Yeah. You don't have the brain capacity to understand emotions. Alright. Well, I think we're going to have to try and figure out how to cross this gorge at some point, but we'll leave that for the next episode. So I think I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And uh, yeah, make sure you tune in next time so we figure out how we cross this uh, gorge. We have to do a Homer Simpson style on the skateboard. <laughs> so uh, with that, I am Ape Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.